What the f is going on in the market today? All right, so here's the story, guys. This morning, it was announced that Walmart announces a partnership with Litecoin. And as you guys already know, this caused a lot of FOMO in the market and the price of Litecoin went from sub 180 all the way up as high as around 225, maybe more. Not only did Litecoin go up, but Bitcoin also took off here. As you can see, this huge candle, this is a three and a half percent candle worth about over $1,600 in the 15 minute time frame. Just so you see how fast this all occurred. So Bitcoin went from a low of $44,000 all the way to a high of $46,950. That's pretty much from 44 to 47. That's a crazy jump in a matter of 15 minutes. Then you could see that the news kept coming in that Walmart intends to give its shoppers opportunity to make payments with cryptocurrencies. And they even gave us a start date. It said Walmart pay, uh, says pay with Litecoin option to start October 1st. So it looks really legit at the time. And not only did it look legit, but the Litecoin verified account had also posted it and then deleted it. So my question is how whoever's controlling that account, how do they know or not know if it's real news? I that's very confusing, very weird. And then, of course, we get this tweet here saying that Walmart has confirmed news about Litecoin partnership is fake. Walmart went on to say that it is not a authentic, that Walmart doesn't accept cryptocurrencies in the US. Does that mean they're accepting it somewhere else? And now Walmart spokesperson said that the company is looking into how fake press release on Litecoin partnership was published. So of course, after that came out, then prices just plunged again, right? So we went from $47,000 all the way down to a low of $43,340. Crazy drop, easy come, easy go. So what does this mean for Bitcoin? Nothing really, it doesn't change anything other than that the price, it made the price pump and then it made the price dump. It has nothing to do with anything with Bitcoin though. But what we will do is take a look at what happened with Bitcoin over the weekend and see what we could possibly be looking at this week to hopefully get that next move. So let's not waste any more time and jump into today's video. Hey, what's up? Jay here and welcome to Bitcoin Daily, bringing you guys the best tips, tutorials and ideas to help you guys become profitable and successful investors. The goal of this channel is to empower you, the community, with the knowledge and resources to take you up to that next level. So if you guys are new here, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. If you enjoy this video, don't forget to smash that like button. So let's go ahead and jump into today's video. All right, guys, so I know it's been a crazy morning, but honestly, there's really not too much to report on today in Bitcoin. Not much has changed here. Uh, we're still waiting for that golden cross. It still hasn't happened at this point. It's been delayed here now because the prices now are under the moving averages. So because the prices are under the moving averages now, um, it's slowed down their trajectory. If we can get back above $46,000, which is above both those moving averages, then we should uh, see that golden cross this week. If we stay below it though, it's definitely probably going to slow it down for another week or so. The main thing that we're gonna be watching here this week is the $42,000 level. As long as we stay above 42 guys, I don't care what happens, we are golden. If we drop below 42 guys, then you know you should worry a little bit because that could represent a test of this low down here, which is around that $35,000 range. And if we test that, then there's potential that we test the lows down here, which is that $30,000 range, $28,000 range. So we do not want to see a break below 42, guys. We want to see, we want to make sure to get a bounce back up here and break above $50,000. As of now, we're still good. We're still bullish. As long as we stay above 42, we're good and bullish. It's if we go below that, that we might need to start worrying a little bit and looking at some possible bearish case scenarios scenarios in the market. Resistances currently is we have, of course, 45,000. 
is going to be a resistance there. Then we have 48,000 and then of course $50,000. So those are the levels that we're watching this week. In Ethereum, it's much the same thing. Not too much has changed here. It's just following Bitcoin for the most part. We see that it's down 5% today. You see that it went up as high as uh, 34, 32 and as low as 3,100. So it bounced back above 3,200, which was aid from Friday's video. That trade has triggered here. As long as 3,200 here holds, we should see potential revisit of 35. If we do go lower, that next main level is 3,000. We need that to hold. If we fall below 3,000, we could potentially be retesting that $2,500 level. So that's something that we will definitely be watching. So let's talk about some trade setups that we will be watching for this week. The first one, of course, is $45,000 breakout. The idea there is the same as, as before. If we get a bounce back above $45,000, we are entering above it. We're entering on that breakout. You can see most of every time that it's gone, not every time, but the majority of the time it's broken back above 45, it's gone up at least to like 46, right? So it's been a profitable trade there. Now we're only risking about 1% at this point because there's just so much consolidation in that area. So we don't wanna uh, have a big position sizes there the next one of course is if we see a drop lower forty two thousand dollars is the level that we're watching for a bounce back entry on that one we would be risking between two to three percent and then of course if it continues up then a breakout entry above forty eight thousand would be the next breakout entry that we're looking for in ethereum this week we will be watching we're still watching that same 3200 level which we're currently in right now from friday's video so 3200 is that bounce back entry that we're talking about exactly what happened here today that lo next lower level if we go lower is three thousand dollars guys so that's the next level that we're playing if we get a breakout then we're entering trades above thirty five hundred dollars very simple. That is it for today's video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, don't forget to smash the like button. If you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. And if you have any questions, drop it in the comments. I'm always happy to see you guys commenting on the video because it also helps us out. Thank you guys so much. I will see you guys on the next video. As always, peace and love.